we tested um, pollutant levels in the water around Manhattan. Um, we tested in five different locations. The first one was at 145th Street, um, just above the sewage plant that's here. Um, the next one was at 79th Street, around the boat basin. The next one was at 41st Street, where the um, cruise boat stop. Um, there was one at Battery Park, which was kind of closest to the ocean and New York Harbor. And the last one was on the east side at 20th Street, um, so in the East River. Um, and so we tested for nitrates, phosphates, um, conductivity, conductivity, which is bit, um, basically relative to salinity, um, as well as oxygen. Um, and so we thought that nitrates and phosphates generally come up from runoffs from fertilizers, and they also can come from animal and human waste. Um, so we were expecting both of those to be much higher for the, to be the highest near the sewage plant, um, because we thought you know there could be some evidence um, of, of, of dumping, and it does smell pretty bad around it. Um, and then we thought kind of the inverse would happen for oxygen and conductivity, because we thought that because like salinity and oxygen, oxygen are both much higher in ocean waters, and we thought they were going to be the highest in New York Harbor by Battery Park, um, because there's constant mixing, so there's more water, um, and also because of the ocean water, there would be higher um, salinity. Um, so our findings, for the most part, did not um, match our hypothesis. Um, we found that, in general, they're actually lower phosphate and nitrate levels um, farther north. Um, as you can see here. Um, but that, generally, we actually couldn't find a pattern for those. Um, we did see that they were generally lower levels further down. Um, and actually higher levels of tap water, which is a surprise. Um, so higher levels of what in tap water? Uh, phosphate and nitrates. Actually, um, 79th Street had the highest nitrate levels. They're actually above um, the, is it the EPA? I think so. The, yeah. the EPA approved um, for you know, safe water. consumption. I mean, this is in river water. We're not really expected to drink it, but still. Um, but so we found um, that Actually, tap water was fairly close to what's considered the maximum safe Where did you level. take the tap water sample from? Um, in the science lab. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, convenient. But so we thought that maybe the, the 79th Street, one of the reasons why there could be such a high nitrate level was you know, they could possibly be using a different fertilizer than some of the other locations, and so runoffs from that could create high nitrate levels. Um, there also is a high population of boats, including some houseboats, so there could be some sort of correlation with waste coming from you know, those boats. Um, but we don't actually know what. Um, phosphate levels are actually different, um, so that suggests that um, they're coming from at least some different sources of the nitrate levels, but the error bars are larger with phosphate, and it's difficult to know how um, was there um, any possible confounding of your results due to any external it's, issues on the day you were sampling? It's in our poster. We're getting there. Um, that's an error that goes later. Ah. Um, it's right there. Okay, so for oxygen concentration, um, which is in parts per million dissolved oxygen, um, it was highest at Battery Park, like we'd expected, and second highest on the, in the East River, um, as predicted. But it was actually lowest at 79th Street. Um, so we really think there's something going on there, because there's also very high nitrate levels at 79th Street. Um, and they're actually pretty high oxygen level at the sewage plant. Um, and there were pretty low, small air bars there, so it suggests that there is something significant. Um, and for conductivity, um, so we did, so the conductivity is only relative, we weren't able to test the actual amount of salt. So this is the one where we, we actually found very high conductivity at the sewage plant and we thought that there was maybe something in the water there that was um, increasing the conductivity that wasn't just sea salt. Um, but and um, the rest of the results from the river water were fairly similar. Anya, I have to go to my um, Hi. But, so, yeah, that was compared to NICA.
yell. Um, but one, one, one pitch of follow with um, testing the conductivity is, aside from other possible things um, that increase the conductivity of the salt, there is also um, the influence of the tides, which we didn't really take into account. Um, because you know, the samples are taken at different times of day, and of course the tides have a strong effect in the estuary. Um, so other possible sources of error, um, a big thing is that it was raining heavily on the day that we collected the samples, which we were not expecting, and since we were sampling surface water, that may have had a very strong diluting effect. Um, I wonder if you know, levels would have been even higher of some things. Um, Another, not so much just of errors, just there were a lot of things we didn't, weren't really able to take into account. We didn't know all the sources of pollution at each location. Um, like we mentioned, uh, you know, so there was something different going on at 79th Street if there were other pollutants in the water at 145th Street. Um, so we didn't really know what's going on. Really good, you know? um, and the last possible source of error is just when actually comparing the samples, we compare the colors to you know, compare the colors of the samples after five minutes, and they didn't always perfectly match the colors that were on here. Um, like for nitrate tests, we got something much more peach and less pinkish, um, and we don't really know why that is. Um, and of course, that made it difficult to compare to these samples. We tried to do it by you know intensity, and darkness of the color, but it was a bit difficult. So we don't know if those are accurate results. Um, so overall, we did not really um, match hypothesis, although something, especially oxygen level, um, mostly fit a hypothesis. Um, we think that um, a much larger sample size um, and you know, maybe, more, maybe some more knowledge of the different possible um, sources of pollution in the area could increase the accuracy of our results. Thank you.